absolutely typical. I decide I'm going to start recording my intro and it starts raining halfway through. Perfect. Check this out, right? We've got the, the little mod where we can sit on stairs and slabs and this, if I get off, <laughs> I can sit on this from inside. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back guys to the Lotus SMP. We're on episode 15 and finally I've taken Leonard for his first little trip around the village. There's enough to <laughs> to go and see now, I guess. But that's kind of uh, what I'm trying to build here is something where I, even though I fly around to everything because it's quite spaced out. I want to be able to just ride my horse around here and experience it when it's all said and done. Uh, and also, let's bring up the map. It's also why uh, I built these bridges to kind of link me up to the rest of the server. Still need to get around to building a path up to uh, Banana Boy's base to spawn and the camp. Then going out west past the th thing that Jess is doing, build a path up to everyone else that's on the west, including the little uh, Halloween thing. And that is what we're doing today. Ah, I forgot to put on my Halloween skin. Okay, we'll get back to that. But before we get to any of that stuff, we're going to go to the shopping district and check on our profits. I'm actually doing this a few days earlier than I would normally. I'm sure it's going to take tons of work to make the, uh, the armor stand scene the Halloween competition. So first things first. Last episode we got all these extra horses in here and roll the clip like as soon as I finished recording that last video I got another set of skeleton horses at my base. I I'm, I'm overstocked I don't know what to do with these now. Uh, <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> I thought these were kind of rare and they just keep appearing at my base. I swear I see these more often than I see uh, wandering traders at my base. Nah, that's not true. But uh, yeah, uh, Slip said on in a comment on my last video, I should bring some of these over to the spooky area. So uh, once I'm done checking out my shop profits, if there are any, in fact, I know there are because Slip told me also that he's done some shopping. Um, yeah, he suggested I take some over, so that's what I'll do once uh, once we've checked out if we've made any sales. So let's go have a look. Any of the new stuff? One diamond on sand. I don't think. I think maybe it was wasted effort getting all these nether brick things. Uh, no sales. No sales, no sales. No, no. Oop. Some sales. Sale, sale. Awesome. Okay, let me just record all this. Okay, we made six diamonds this week from sales. Who is it? Night? Can I sleep now? Oh, good. Okay, let's just take. Nice try. Okay. Uh, wait, hold on. I need me boat. So, okay, what are we doing this episode? So, basically just going to be working on my entry to Danesto's Halloween competition. There is a skin element. My Halloween skin, I didn't make it. I've kind of cobbled it together from skins that I've not made. So I've not entered the skin competition, but there is also a armor stand scene competition, which I have definitely entered. What's going on here? Is that an active portal underwater? No, I'm seeing things. I've done the odd armor stand thing in the past, just doing like in my solo world. I did I did shields turned sideways with like a black banner on them, so they look like. Computer screens. Do I still have my horses? Yes. Yeah, I've never done anything quite like this 
at least not on this scale. Um, and uh, just to set ex <laughs> yeah, just to set expectations. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm not entirely confident that I can pull off what I'm trying to do, but. Yeah, I'm going to have a good try anyway. That's why I've given myself sort of extra time to try and do this. Oh, what's with all these trees, man? Come on. Anyway, yeah, I'm trying to do kind of like a... More like a sculpture sort of thing. Um, I have no idea if I have the artistic capability, regardless of uh, the ability with the armor stands. Uh, to do this, so this could this could all end horribly and be just kind of really lame. I have done actually um, the sort of the build part of my scene, so we can go have a look at that right now. But the thing that I've n forgotten to do is uh, send my skins to Chesby to add on to the the armor stand thing uh, like this. So. Um, Ah, uh, please, are there any... I'm just going to borrow some of this wood. There we go. On loan from, uh, from my shop. So yeah, this is the, uh, the Halloween district. So, we've seen this last episode. We've seen some of this last episode. This, uh, has been improved slightly. Uh, Dan's been calling it his... Is he in here? Uh, he's been calling it his motel. I don't know. I don't know where he is. Did he just log out? Oh, he just logged out. That's why. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then uh, we've seen Slip's build as well. Not sure if anything's changed since I've last been here. But then over this way, uh, we have my scene that I've already built. So let's run the time lapse and then we'll have a little look through it. quite fond of this crater. I'm sure I've seen this and someone's done this before, where they've done the the campfires under some carpet to make it look like the ground smoking. Uh yeah, I'm I'm happy with this. Explosion, something something happened here. This is gonna be kind of a battle scene, so um yeah, I'm sure I've probably put it in the thumbnail and you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is uh, this is the setting for our little fight that we're gonna hopefully build here. Uh, I really hope this video turns out how I'm hoping it does. <laughs> let's let's do a little free cam. Got the little crater from our explosion. Whatever happened here. Uh, the banner is just here to show that this is my plot. Um, that's not going to be part of the scene, I don't think. Um, and then yeah, we've got these little ruins here. Um, Try to make it look sort of as like battle scarred as possible. Um, I use deep slate because it's dark and uh, maybe like sooty from all the like explosions and fire and stuff. Uh, and then this is some sort of uh, if you can imagine the the window like filled in on this side, like arched archways in the windows maybe some sort of like church-esque building maybe a bit of a spire on the on the corner but it's all like eroded and damaged there's bits of wall that have just collapsed and so on the floor from the upper level has just like fallen through yeah and then uh, also it's been overgrown a bit i guess maybe this isn't the first battle that took place here. Yeah, nothing nothing too crazy, but I think a nice level of detail to sort of uh, bring it to life a little bit, I guess. Here's something that's not very uh, not very noticeable, but 
I I quite like it. Just the shape of it, the sort of, like the corner little support thing here. I just like that, but it's not really it's not really visible because it's all just dark grey on dark grey. Okay, so we've seen this in real life. I need to wait like a day or so to get the skins in that I'm going to use to from, on my armor stands, but that doesn't mean I can't show you my player skin, which actually will be in the scene. So I'm going to log out, change my skin and log back in and bam, let's get rid of that. I am now a Cade as a space Marine. I've even like changed to the, like the wide player model so that I'm extra chunky. So, uh, uh, if you've watched me for a while, particularly my solo world, you'll know that I've uh, my my lore for that world. I draw a little bit on uh, some of the, like Warhammer Forty K sort of uh, themes and so on. And the new Space Marine Two game has been out recently, and it's fantastic. Uh, so uh, <laughs> it's inspired me to uh, to do a little. 40k battle scene inspired by the game uh, but with me in it so um, yeah here's, here's my my Halloween skin, I'm dressed up as a space marine as I said it's going to be another day or so before I can start work on the armor stand bit so um, yeah, I'm going to go do something else with, my, with myself for now, maybe go play space marine um, but yeah, for you it's the next thing I'll do so uh, here's me building my my scene or starting to at the very least i'll try and do a little update along the way guys we've uh, we've made some progress so I'm <laughs> um, trying not to look too far in this direction because in fact there's nothing here yet but uh, pineapple is setting up right here and we've got some stuff over here not done yet but that's Luma's uh, I think she said she's building a forest I've no idea what pineapple's doing uh, that's my beacon uh, he was doing this all slow mode and I it was too much. I, I had to help out. Uh, let me just sleep and then let's look at what we've done so far. So uh, I can't remember if I put these armor stands down already, but these are where I'm having characters uh, in the scene, basically. So uh, yeah, the main one. I think this is done. I don't know if I want to do more to this. Uh, I feel like I could have made it a little bigger but maybe I've, it just it seems small because it's like in the ditch. I mean, if I was standing next to it, yeah, it's pretty big. So I think I think the scale works out nicely. I, I, just for the like the optical illusion of it, looking not big enough against a regular person. Yeah, I'm reasonably happy with this. Uh, <laughs> it's not that great. I can tell, but I'm as a like first time doing this sort of thing result, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, I could go even more. Oh, there's pineapple. 
Uh, <laughs> I could go even more detail if I wanted to, but frankly, I don't. Uh, it's already too fiddly. And my biggest issue, I think, is this sort of thing. Um, I could smooth these up by putting even more armor stuns down here, but uh, it's just like, it's so, so fiddly and it's too many. I think this is like four stacks of armor stuns already, plus nine. It's uh, got a little out of hand, but I've, I've done it and I'm proud of myself. Um... I'll put up a... Let me just look off to the side so I can put the picture up. Uh, this is kind of the picture that I've been working from. I wanted to get the... Uh, the, like, scythe arm claw things in. Uh, I really wanted to do that with... I really wanted to do it with a hoe. But the, like, the, the hoe bit on the end of it wasn't big enough. So I swapped those out for, like, pointed dripstone. Which I've also used for teeth. Um, yeah, I could do the bottom jaw as well. That's the other thing that's kind of missing. Um, and maybe if I've got time, what I, th I really want is, uh, a terracotta slab that I could use as the bottom jaw. Uh, but yeah. Oh, no, wait. I know what I could do. I know what I could do. In fact, let's do one live. Uh... Let's see if I can do this. Uh, da, da, da. So, uh, hopefully this is evident in the time lapse that you just watched, but um, I've been using let's go 180. I've been using the swap main hand to head function for all of these. Because, basically, I wanted to be as consistent as possible between armor stands. Um, I didn't want to have to keep, like, figuring out, uh, did I do... What, what did I do, like, with the last armor stand? I have had to, like, cross-check, like, doing the these shoulder plates, like, armor plates on here. Um, so if you saw in the time-lapse any points where I... I was making the, like, the armor stand bit visible again, that's what I was doing. I was I was making sure by turning on the armor stand again, which one I'm selecting, um, and then yeah, I I was comparing um, like figures and stuff, like tilt of the head and all that sort of thing. Uh, right, let's do that roughly. And the this is awkward as well, like having to keep changing my point of view of what I'm trying to do. There we go. That's what I've got now for a, a low chore. Let's do... Uh, oh. Which way do I want to go? That way. Uh, and then... Trying to line these up. It's so fiddly. This is what I mean. Uh, let's go a bit higher. There we go. Okay. I think that works. That works for a lower jaw. I can... I'm not going to do it now because it's so fiddly, but I can put in the, the bottom row of teeth, I think. And invisible. Oops. Okay. This little thing up here... It's the best function, the best feature of the armor stand mod versus the book because this thing would be impossible without it because I can open up this list of all the armor stands in my area and it's the one that I want to change. just want to turn that off. And then, yeah, all of these, <laughs> this is all the armor stands that I've used. Uh... Even it has picked up the ones that are nearby, um, which uh, like the placeholders. Oh, uh, find it again. Done. 
Uh, even that, yeah, it's even picked up the placeholder ones that are nearby. But yeah, this has been something that I've worked on off and on for the past few days. Apologies for the uh, the multiple cuts to different like different little clips from the time lapse. Um, they were individual like recording sessions because yeah, this has been tough and. I've kind of just done a bit when I've been available to do so. I don't want to give too many details away until it's done. So uh, yeah, let's just crack on. Uh, I've got a couple more spooky aliens to, to put in. Yeah, this could get interesting. Anyway, I'll see you when I've done those. Look how crazy the zoom is. This is stupid. No, you, can't even, you can't even see that there's a cut there from here. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Done with my two hormigons. Uh, going right. Oh. I really, really should have checked if this was a trap. I <laughs> just <laughs> blindly opened a shulker box. I believe these diamonds uh, from Luma, because I... Free shulker box as well? Uh... Yeah, I, I gave us some materials for a build, so... I think that's reimbursement. Anyway, yeah, I'm back in my base because I needed to make a few more armor stands. And they're in my ender chest, I believe. So, here's something that I think has happened since the last clip. Chet abandoned his post and is in timeout. I came into the nether and I, or I, rather I came back through the nether to the base and Chet wasn't there anymore and I was worried that he died in the nether. But, turns out he just made it through here somehow. I guess the, where he was tied up, he, he was able to get back in. Uh, back, yeah, back out to the overworld. So, I rounded him up and he's staying here for a while. Uh, for it, until I can figure out where to put him. Um, I might just... Can you do a carpet? Will that be enough? Just put carpet over here so you can't go this way. I don't know if that if that's enough. Or you do magma blocks under carpet. I can't remember. Back to the Halloween district. We'll have a closer look at what we've just done. Uh, ah yes. Luma has also been very busy in the meantime. Uh, and Almost immediately after I recorded the last clip where I spoke to you, uh, I went offline and then like an hour later, this was done. This is Pineapple's Halloween minigame thing, bobbing for apples. Uh, admittedly, I haven't looked at this yet because I've been so focused on doing my armor stand stuff. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll check this out properly before the end of the video and give it a few goes. Um, Maddie was on earlier. In fact, she's on now, I think. Um, and she said she loves the game, so I'll have to give it a go before the end of the episode. Anyway, so here's where we left off. And now we've got two little ones uh, up here. Uh, <laughs> it looks so... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just... This one just looks so fat. With its ch its chest out like this, uh, yeah. I d I don't know what to say about these really. This one I executed a lot better. Um, bit more like motion in this one. The other one's meant to be leaping over the wall, but it's kind of just hanging on there. Uh, we'll have a better look in a sec. Uh, um, I have done like twisty tails on these ones. Which I like a bit better. Yeah. Oh, and actually, here's something. The, an actual 
one of these has an extra limb, an extra arm here. I chose to not do that because they're just, I don't know. It's too much. It was too much detail for this scale. Oh. For this scale. Because these are smaller, I made the mouths a bit smaller. And I just went alternating up, like pointing up and down. Um, whereas over here, we've got like a big top jaw, bottom jaw sort of thing going on. Um, I elected not to do that on these ones. Uh, yeah, this one, I kind of wanted this one actually to be a bit more clinging to the this bit. But, yeah. I think I made it a bit too close. I wanted to have it close enough that the 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 little like spiky scythe claw thing would be the thing gripping onto this. But I think I made this I, I don't know. I think I would have had to curve the body a lot more like this so that this leg would be under here maybe. Um but yeah. It's it's I don't know. It's it's done. <laughs> the math on this one's not quite as good. I think it's just the the angle it's on, or it's not spaced as much. I don't know. But yeah, it's it's otherwise kind of done. Uh, I had a bit more fun with the tail on this one as well. Anyway, we're in the home stretch now. We've got the last two things to do. This one will be me and my Halloween skin, basically. And then the other one will be the skin, but with the helmet on, not my normal Cade 6 head. So let's grab these. I have just found out what to call them. Okay, here we go. So we've got this one. Let's put the arms on. Uh, so that's going to be our extra soldier, who unfortunately will have perished. Uh, I think I might put him in here, actually, in the corner. I've done everything, that's the other thing that's been kind of challenging about all this, is I've done, well, particularly this one, this one, and, and I guess now me and the extra space marine. We're all on diagonal. Yeah, not ideal for my first time doing this sort of thing. Uh, but then, yeah, here's me. And our arms. So yeah, let's get these guys put where they need to be put, and wait, which one? This one's me. Let's put me there. Is it there? No, it's this one, I think. Yeah, I'm unaware of the guys behind me about to get pounced on. It's like a heroic last stand sort of battle scene, I guess. And... This guy's going to go here. In fact, I need to dress up the floor a bit as well. So I'm going to sleep real quick so uh, no mobs come and destroy my work. And then we'll get on with the last two armor stones. Okay guys, we are done with our Halloween armor stand scene. This has taken me pretty much the whole week. And uh, in spite of uh, some of it being pretty janky, I'm quite proud of it. 
uh, it's my first time doing this sort of thing. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's not great, <laughs> but, but I'm really, uh, as a first effort, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, there's, uh, much room for improvement and I could have done some of this a bit more high detail, but I was also trying to get it done in the week and yeah, first time trying it. I, I know ways now to, to do it better. Um, for instance, uh, could make these sort of shapes a bit smoother. Uh, I could utilize like rotating the blocks a bit and so on, or just have extra steps in there. So it's just uh, not so jagged. Extra blocks like in the way, in the, in between these would, would smooth it out. But then we run into, I mean, this was already, I think, five stacks of armor stands at least uh the whole thing i think was at least maybe 12 stacks i had to i even the last little bit of the the time lapse doing this guy doing the gun even um i've added on three or four more armor stands since then because i ran out <laughs> having gone back and and made like multiple stacks of armor stands multiple times during this whole process i still ran out i still underestimated how many I, I would need but anyway yeah we're done we've added in me in my arm my uh space marine armor and we've added in this little guy as well poor fella so these are let's go uh f5 these are slightly taller than the average minecraft player because space marines are like seven feet tall minimum or whatever so i've made them a bit taller so uh we'll start with this guy dude's uh not made it he's uh he's sitting in a pool of his blood and uh, it's leaking out uh from beneath him as well uh that's what the redstone is meant to be uh and then i've tried to pose him so he's like his head's down like he's slouched over like he's just he's just passed away um, while trying to hold his ground. And I've turned this one arm out a little bit to make it look like he let go of his gun. And after doing that, uh, I wanted to try and do a better version of it. So this is the pistol version. This is the bolt pistol. And here's the bolter, which is more like a, a rifle. Um, the, the stick for the handle, maybe that doesn't work so well. Uh, I, I still like it, I think. Maybe I could could have put a candle in there, like a grey candle. Uh, I've said it. I've got to do it now. There we go. That'll do. Oh, wait. That won't do. That will do. There we go. That works. So bits that I did that weren't in the time lapse. Uh, I did the rest of the, f the feather on the uh, this thing. I uh, put this on, and yeah, I swapped out the that. Yeah, I I, I like this one. I I'm quite proud of this. But how many armor stunts is this? Fifteen armor stunts just for this one weapon. So that's quite a lot. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, we have got this guy. The uh, the thing that's kind of uh, let's see if I can show you it on me. Uh, let's go, uh, and, oh wait, you can't see it because of my cape. Let's rename another armor stand. So on the back, Space Marines have this big backpack thing, which, like, I assume it's like the power thing for their suit, and it's got, like, the vents on and stuff. So, uh, I didn't put the vents on this one, but I did on me, because this one's more, like, visible, you can walk around it have a look so yeah got the vents on here and some some nice shape to the pack the other two things i've done is oh i've got another armor stand visible here these are meant to be little skulls so i've just used a bone block same on the back here same on here um 
don't have any skeleton skulls or any other pineapple heads. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I've just used bone blocks. Um, this is the sort of same insignia that you'd see on the Space Marines breastplate. So, uh, yeah, I tried to put in that as a little detail. The chainsword. That's pretty iconic for a weapon for a Space Marine. Um, probably saw it in the... Th oh, hold on. One more thing on the backpack. I put the vents in uh, on this bit. Yeah, oh, let me sleep. Don't want to invoke the wrath of any creepers by accident. I put a stick in the armor stance hand so I could sort of build on it. Uh, and I just fleshed it out with some concrete, some more tough to make the, the teeth of the chainsaw part of the sword. And the angle on the top one is slightly different, so it looks like it's curving around the top. Um, and then, yeah, we've got this like guard thing, but it's not really a guard. It's more like, because this is like a mechanical weapon, right? It's got the these vents on it. There's like exhausts on, on chainsaws, so I've done that. And then we've got the little like pommel on the bottom as well. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's these Space Marines done. Uh, I'm gonna keep this for my base. But, um, yeah. This is my, my entry into the armor stand competition. Okay, I'm gonna tidy this stuff up. And then we're gonna try out Pineapple's minigame. Okay, I took a break to eat. And I was meant to put all this stuff away. But while I was doing that, Pineapple came on, uh, posted his max, the theoretical max score of his game. And he posted it on the, uh, the Lotus Discord. So, and he also said some nice stuff about my Armstrong stuff, which is very nice. And uh, yeah, since posting that, to try and go people into spending more diamonds, I suppose. Um, yeah, it seems to have worked because a bunch of people came online. So, my suspicion is they've all gone to play the game. So I'm going to head back over there instead of tidying my stuff away. Spend them all on this. Well, I'm not running out. <laughs> oh, hi, Draconis. Yeah. Hello. Draconis! <laughs> Another one. Wow, well, like hey, everyone welcome. is here. Everyone is here. With Except the for yeah, Pac, all I the mean. way up. Turn on Hug titles. Would, make sure you have your make me a millionaire with this. Time at the beginning I got with 12. twin charges. Oh, well done. The highest I have seen people get is twelve. But you know, you you could get seventeen. Uh, I feel like that could all just on, be, a uh, fight and it's just to get me to keep playing. That's not a lie. Yeah, that sounds kind of like like it, marketing strategy. It's not strategy. a lie. It is possible. To Marketing get 70. strategy? Explain. Placement. Uh, you would have to get incredibly lucky. Basically, it would have to be the apple right next to you every single time. Oh, yeah, also, it's only gonna reach 17 apples if it's the closest apple every single time. Like, it, it would have to be the apple closest to the randomizer. Oh, Draconis. Hello. I'm getting rich off of this. It's brilliant. Awesome. <laughs> This is not supposed to be so good. I made it in three days. <laughs> what happens no, if we all go down there at the circle. same time? Is that allowed? I mean, there's there's nothing in the rules against it, although, who are you going to put that as for the score? <laughs> I mean, hey. well, just click it. I mean, Hello? the banana Hello. boy has got it. What is happening? Zay, Zay is still dissolving into the internet occasionally. Yeah. I guess. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Oh, I have one. I have. Oh, I'm. What? Oh, my gosh, Wi Fi. Yeah, your, your connection is like. I have max bars in one, one place and then zero. <laughs> the heck? And I'm so confused. Who's coming? Can try it. I just wonder what the actual score. Are you coming? All right, come on, guys. Draconis <laughs> didn't have played before, but okay. We'll give him one button. Yep, Draconis, to and we'll welcome to Apple Bobbing. Hope you enjoy. All right, here we go. Playing. Who's paying? Yeah. Everyone, uh, I got stuck on the ladders. That was okay. So I am on those two apples here. All right, I got these two. One. I got these two. I got one. Wait, what do I do? Just punch the note block. Uh, yeah, note yeah, block yeah, basically, when the if light your apple are... lights up, just hit the note block. 
Why? Why am I stressed? <laughs> Th these apples are placed else. so inconveniently. They're right by each other, but it's not actually as easy as you'd think to go between them. I just tried placing apples where I thought it looked somewhat even, like, somewhat evenly spread around the whole thing, and also yeah, where it, the redstone could easily but... be gotten to. And somehow I like accidentally made it the best challenge. <laughs> yeah, th I think this is just about the perfect space thing. Oh, is this one apple? Oh, okay, let's see. I think I'm gonna guess that that score is like eight or something. Eight, like... Thirteen! Thirteen! Oh! 13. That's a new oh, high we... score! Oh, I we, oh. we achieved thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> we got thirteen. Oh, what's the first sign. letter in all of our names? Right, uh, so we've got. Can we spell They're anything? Do we have any vowels? <laughs> no vowels. JBDCM. <laughs> JBDCM. <laughs> that sounds like a band. Yeah. JB, wait, what was it? JB. D C M. Or J B D C M. Ow. <laughs> yeah, someone, someone's gonna come over here and be like, oh, <laughs> who is? Who is oh, wait, there's another new member. <laughs> I'm gonna do a solo run. Let's go on a single run. Go on, Draconis. Here we go. Come okay. on, Draconis. Diamond, and then hit yep, the button. And on the andesite. Yep. And... Oh no, I'm gonna get like six and really embarrass myself. <laughs> I mean, apparently Banana got four, so... <laughs> oh, okay, I don't feel too bad. <laughs> I, I, I don't remember getting four. Yeah, uh, the, well, the, you know, story scrabble. So, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's Make others really how it went. Come on, we need him to get addicted, so... Yep. You know what's sad? This has been my most profitable thing on any server. This game is amazing. Why is it sad? <laughs> like, Why are you standing I, up banana <laughs> uh, the, um, I don't know, I just like standing up high. <laughs> no, I have made like rocket shops and stuff, you know, the thing you would expect to be the most profitable thing ever. And yet this has made more diamonds in like Two days. Did you try what making you made... bookshop? <laughs> I quite a lot of not be bothered to make a bookshop. Yeah, that's true. Kind of annoying. My shops are normally based off of what can I get conveniently um, that people need. <laughs> I mean, I like the so not a problem for me. I can't be oh. still villagers. Oh, what did you get, Draconis? I'll let you look at it first. Uh, where is Marrow it? Over here. Hopefully, I got that last one. Uh, okay. I got ten apparently. That's actually but... ten. Yeah, that's nice. That's really that's nice. That's actually really impressive for the first time. First soul run. You, the, the, there's signs in the barrels. You hey. record your score. That is actually really impressive for a first time. <laughs> okay. Um, my friend is asking me to play some League of Legends with her, so um, I need to go. So yeah. Fair enough. Um, Bye, Maddie. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Anyone want to see the Banana Boy Mount Rushmore? I do. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> oh my god. Welcome. Dear lord. That is like the perfect shape to for Mount it. Banana well. That is Mount... <laughs> Are they all there, blinked at the here. same time? That's awesome. Welcome to Mount Blinking Banana Moor. I wish I had the mod on. Anyway, um, I, I need to log off, so I'm going to fly back to my base. <laughs> Alright, thank, thank you all for one. the diamond. You're welcome. I'm gonna go spend more diamonds. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, I can play once and I'm gonna go play one. Wait a minute. Where, Two wait, player. where are you down here? Because <laughs> I jumped in. <laughs> Eleven! Yeah! Hey. Diamond. Hit the button and hope for the best. Oh. Oh, I've got eleven somehow. Did did I break it? I might have broken it. Oh no. Don't know what I did. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. 
Hello? Did I break it? Is it broken? No. <laughs> I just pressed the button and it... Uh oh. Did you... Oh. Did you press the wrong button? No. I didn't know this was here. Although I remember reading about it, I think, yeah, in the, the book. This is, this is and then the forgot that this button. was here. I feel so stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Were you like, oh gosh, the door's not closing? You, know, like, you, you didn't hit the reset button. No, I didn't. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, feel stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for dragging you away from whatever you were busy with. I feel it's so dumb. Fine, it's fine. I was doing your <laughs> lingo. I just finished it. Okay. <laughs> I, like I came over here. I was like, oh gosh, like what? What's happened? I was like, oh no. So, like, I, I came over, I was like, oh gosh, there's apples in the barrel. Like, what, what's, like, what's gone wrong? I pressed the button and it just all stopped. I was like, <laughs> so what was wrong with it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ashamed. <laughs> yeah, uh, when, when you come up, you check your score and then you, you gotta press the reset button. Oh, I haven't had to do that because everyone else was here. Yeah, uh, that that makes sense. Everyone else has been here <laughs> pressing the button already and stuff. <laughs> oh man. Well, you, you know what? Look, I I I know that it was a recent thing, but look, ha have your diamond <laughs> back and everything. Oh uh, no no no, it's fine. No I... <laughs> no, you're you're keeping the diamond. I've made enough profit off of this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am just gonna spend it again. Now that I actually know how to totally work it Totally fine by me, properly. you get a free game. Oh, I'll, I'll leave you to it. I, I am <laughs> going to go and break a script, because I need to do a Halloween special at some point, so, yeah. <laughs> nice. Before you go, one small Easter egg I want to show you in my uh, my Armistone thing. So, a lot of, like, Armistone. Space Marine iconography and stuff has skulls in it, and right. I didn't have any skeleton heads but I did have one of your heads from the dragon fight. Oh, so you're a little Easter egg. On oh the my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's, that's so good. Oh, that's just made this even better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, this, that's what I wanted to show you. So you can, uh, thank you. Yeah. I, I, maybe I'll hang around here just in case some, someone does actually break the redstone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, and yeah, no more false um, alarms. I know how to actually work the game now, so. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Right. Bye. Oh, man. Well, kind of got to do it now. Don't be stupid this time. Ah. Oh. out. Reset button. Wait, wait, wait. Check score. Nine. Ugh. That's fine. It was the free go. Oh, oh, wow. People have been busy on replacing the grass here. Wow. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. Was this in the video before? I don't remember. Oh, the signs have gone blank. But I believe this was Shaden. Uh, he left some grass here, so we can, like, re resurface, I guess, re-turf the <laughs> shopping district. Right, it's, uh, seeing as this is the Halloween episode, let's see if we've used up any more pumpkins over here. And uh, that's a no. That's a shame. Uh, I was hoping to offload some of those, because <laughs> I literally can't get through them fast enough. Oh man, who's done this? This is... Quite a lot. Uh, interesting. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're going to wind things up in the shopping district this episode. Uh, Got to show this off. This is Shaden's massive, epic uh, beacon shop. Oh, dear me. He's added the sound in there. <laughs> that scared me. Uh... Yeah, don't really need- oh, that's a lot of beacons sold. I don't need a beacon right now, because I have my own. Um, but if I need more than one, 
oh, I know where to go now. Uh, anything else new? In the, ooh, the, that's new, I guess. There is something I need to check out in here in a second. I think the only other thing I want to check... Has the rocket shop been restocked? Because... Uh, all these were empty. Oh, thank God. Ah. Okay. So, pretty sure I haven't checked my shop yet this episode. So, we're going to go in here. I have checked off camera. Let's have a quick look. Have we sold anything? I know we've sold something. Uh, hence why I have these shulker boxes in my inventory. Good lord. Sold our entire stock of quartz. So, thankfully, uh, I have been off camera grinding a little bit and, <laughs> and uh, restocking. Okay, I'm short on quartz stock. I need to go do some more villager trades, but what is this? 108 diamonds we just made there? That's uh, pretty good shop profits. I need to come up with some sort of build or a project or something where I need to spend some of these diamonds in the shopping district to get materials or something. I feel like I've done a lot of take, but not very much give back with the diamonds I've made out of this shop. The last thing we need to check is go back to the coffee shop. Stella Beans, open soon. Still not open, but there's customers, including a particular cob who now needs to be added to the cob decks. Boom, coffee date with Chesby. How cute. It's been a while since we had a brand new one. I feel like the one in Banana Boy's base from last episode, was it? I feel like maybe that was uh, one that I've just missed this whole time. <laughs> um, I have no idea though. Is this... This is new. What is this? This is new, right? Uh, how have I missed this? What is this? Saddles and diamond horse armor. Three and five diamonds. I have too many of them, so please buy it. <laughs> I feel like this is a Maddie pop-up shop because she got loads of horse armor from doing all the ancient city stuff to get the swift sneak books for the bookshop that's hilarious okay i might actually buy some saddles you know because i've got all these all these dudes to sell yes i uh, will keep that in mind uh oh there's, there's prime example to give some diamonds back anyway let's fly back over to the halloween stuff okay guys that's going to be it for this episode then uh it's been a weird one for me, doing all this arm stand stuff that I've never really done before. I've done a little bit, but it's like, I think I mentioned it before as well. It's just like turning a shield on its side with a black banner on it so it looks like a TV screen or something. Stuff like that, like little stuff. Or like placing stuff on a shelf where it's, it's made out of a trap door that you wouldn't be able to place stuff on normally. Yeah, this has been quite a weird experience for me uh, but please please let me know what you think or if you're someone more well versed in the armor stand stuff if you've got any tips for me in the future maybe please let me know yeah i have no idea what i'm going to do next time but hopefully we'll get a build or something done in the village but yeah that's it for me guys uh, if you wouldn't mind helping me out maybe you could hit like on the video and if you want to follow my journey on the server doing more stuff like this maybe in the future maybe you could hit subscribe as well and uh don't forget to check the description for all the other members of the server including new member just say who uh appeared hopefully in the clip where we were doing the apple stuff but yeah thanks again guys i'll see you in the next one bye bye i'm gonna go bob for more apples